Hello, Voyagers. Welcome again to our channel. I am Captain Amelia from HY Voyagers, and I'm here today to give you a quick tutorial on another roommate and room finding app called Roomie. So this particular app is a web-based app, but you can also get it for iPhone at the Apple Store. However, I am a non-Apple phone user, so I cannot show you on the phone, but I can show you on the desktop version. So here we have the app, it's roomyapp.com. I will also leave the link for it in the description. So here on the Roomy app, you can rent rooms and find roommates in a verified part of your community. Here at Roomy, they take into consideration safety for all their users. They have rules in place um, to particularly assist with uh, subletting and renting and booking online, making secure payments. They give you the option to search for rooms or create a listing if you're looking to rent out a room. Here on the main page, they also have testimonials that you can read from real people who either found a room or filled a room. They also have their cities look listed on the bottom. They have a lot of cities across Canada and the US and other countries. If you keep scrolling, as you can see, there's plenty of different places to choose from. They also have a category based on countries. So if you're from any of these particular countries, you uh, can use this app to find housing there as well, whether it be France, Chile, Brazil, Australia, India, Canada, the US, Vietnam, you name it, they have different options available. So unlike previous apps that I've mentioned, like Digs, this particular site, Rumi, has a lot to offer in other cities across Canada, like Calgary, Toronto, Ottawa, Vancouver, places like that. Not every city is listed here. However, depending on where you're going to school or where you decide to be, this might be another option for you to look at. So we're going to go through this together and sign up so I can show you kind of what to expect beforehand. So when you click on sign up, it'll ask you for to log in if you have an account already or to sign up. So we'll start off by putting in my email. All right, and we will continue. All right, so to finish signing up, basic information, it'll ask you your first and last name to create a password, your birth date. Um, it'll remind you that you need to be at least 18 to use this app because it's for adult purposes and not for underage individuals. And it reminds you that it will not share your birthday. A lot of it is for just verifying. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, so once you add that information, this will be the next area. It'll ask you, where are you searching for? It'll give you some top regions. However, let's just say we're trying to find somewhere in Toronto. All right, Toronto, we'll add Toronto here. So it'll give us a little zoom in area of Toronto. We'll click next. It'll ask us now to choose an account. So are we creating a personal account to find room roommates or list rooms, or are we a business? We could be a real estate business for instance. However, we are using a personal use. So we're gonna click personal and then move on. Next, it'll ask, if I have an empty room or am I looking for a new place? As an international student, I'm assuming you are probably looking for a new place. So we're gonna click searching for a new place. All right, and then it'll add, ask you to add a profile photo. A lot of places do this. Uh, so we will definitely add a profile picture here. Um, I'll do that really quick and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, now that I've added my silly little picture of me, we'll move on to the next step. All right, and then it asks to get verified. So here it'll say you can upgrade. Um, so this is a premium service. If you wanna be verified your profile, this will let people know that you're definitely not a robot, things like that. Um, you get boosted search rankings, unlimited messages and things. However, we are just gonna look at the free version for now. So we'll just exit out of there. 
let this load up real quick. All right, so here we go. This is giving us um, a location map on the right hand side, which I find really nice. So you can visually see where locations are. And then on the left hand side, it'll give you specific neighborhoods, things that are posted today. Uh, you can filter with your budget, time, neighborhood, and it'll give you some listings available here. You can also look at the map to see the locations of particular places and their pricing. So let's take a look at this two bedroom, $700 a month in Lakeview, for instance. So let's click on that and we'll get some more details on that particular um, apartment listing. So here we have some photos. It looks like a beautiful place. Um, however, this one's no longer available, but just for um, an idea here, it shows who listed the listing. His name's Adam, he's 27. Um, and it gives a little description. There was two rooms available, unfurnished, however, 700 per room, available February 1st of 2022. Uh, it's a three bedroom house in the Oshawa Lakeview area, common areas, gives a description. There's Wi Fi, utilities all included. There is some furnish, heating, TV. He shows what an ideal roommate he would be looking for with no pets, no drugs, no smoking, that's fair. It also shows location and bus routes, which is also a fair point if you live in a city, public transit is very important. And then they'll show similar listings on the bottom if that one isn't quite your cup of tea. So that's an example of what this particular app Rumi can offer. It lets you scroll through the photos, things like that. I think it's great. It's another great platform to use. It has a little more variety. You can also message this individual. Uh, they have their phone and active listings. So if you need to contact the individual, you can do so. And they're verified uh, for their email and their phone. It'll tell you if this particular person is not a verified individual. So they use the free features as well. So yeah, that's basically it for this app. Uh, you can get upgrades. Here, like it shows less than a dollar a day, you can get the safety bundle, which gives you different safety checks, rankings, eligibility, unlimited messaging, et cetera. You can create listings, favorite things, uh, make bookings, things like that, sign out. So this is a different app you can use. I think it's a great app. And I think as an international student or international traveler, this would be an awesome place to take a look beforehand or if you're looking for a place in a particular city. Well, I hope that was helpful for you. I just wanted to do a quick overview of this. I always suggest people check it out for themselves because clicking through it yourself, you really get to dig deep into the different details. This was just a little uh, quick thing. So you knew what to kind of expect. Looking at this Rumi app, again, they do have this on an iPhone. If you have Apple, you can go to the Apple store and download that. It is called roomyapp.com. This is not sponsored. We are just showing you an example of another room finding app that you can use when traveling to Canada. Well, thanks for coming. And if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, please leave comments below in the comment section. Please follow us, like this video, and click our bell for any new postings that'll occur. We would love for you to check out our website at hyvoyagers.com. And from there, you can also follow us on our other social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those types of services there. And if you'd like to contact us directly for any inquiries, please email us at captains at hyvoyagers.com. Thank you so much again, and we hope to hear from you all soon or see you in our next video. Bon voyage, voyagers.